here we go with another daily 8-track tape show. Today is Thursday, April the 18th, 2024, and I thank you for joining me today. Today, episode 3 of 8-Track Detectives. In the analog music world, the people are represented in the 8-track tape format by people like myself. This is my story. All right, today we have a Pro 90 blank. Not much on it. I'm going to date this tape to around 1978, 1979. Made by the Sound Pro Company. Sound Pro. High output, low noise, professional 8-track tape recording tape. Note, for best recording results on any blank 8-track, run tape completely through once, then record. Okay, well, what would the logic for that be? I guess just to get that consistency in the tape pack. I don't know, back in the day when I worked in television, we used to lay a control track down. You'd hit the record button and then record over what you recorded. So I don't know what the logic is on that. We've got very little to go on, and we know the tape has been played. We know that it's been used a lot. Just by looking at the wear of the cartridge. All I'm getting here is a little letter. Is that a letter B? Am I getting B here? Does anybody see anything here at all? Other than the letter? I'm, I'm thinking it's a B or an A or something. I don't know. So we're going to open it up. We're going to uh, put a new pad in. Throw it in the deck and see what happens. See if we got any tunes on there. Who knows, it could be blank for all I know. We're going to take a chance. I do this show every day. I hope you find the time to enjoy what I'm doing here. Nice to pick up some subscribers. Okay, the pad has fallen out. The pad is roached. Absolutely. So here's what, and I made a mistake earlier calling something this large 80 minutes worth of tape. When actually this is 22 and a half minutes worth it, or 22.25 minutes of tape, four times, so you get 90 minutes, right? So a huge pack of tape here. It's quite loose. Let's uh, put a pad in there, see what happens. Let me grab the scissors <clears throat> and cut a pad. I just cut these pads out. And I put a little slice in the middle so it fits in the slot. And we'll put it in there and see what happens. What could be on this tape? B? Is it Boston? Is it Budgie? Is it Bruce Springsteen? Is it... Oh, I don't know. It could be anybody, man. I haven't got a clue. But we're going to stick it in there and find out. B. I'm trying to think of who it would be. Album that starts with the letter B? I don't know. Artist? Anyways, let's throw it in and see what we got. Well, we all know who that is. Somebody recorded Meatloaf on here. And eight track detectives have applied the proper forensics to find out what this tape was. We did it. All right. Have yourselves a great, great day.